What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, Everyday Curry for Everyday Guys. So if it looks like I'm sitting a bit weirdly, I am because my chair broke, so I'm literally sitting on two crates, but that's part of another story. I have a question for you guys, okay? We've we've been friends for a while now, I mean, you've, you, you know me for quite a while. Tell me if I'm in the wrong year, I don't think I am. So this past Saturday, I go to my dad's place, uh, my parents' place, and walking past one of their spare rooms, I notice a pair of Yeezys. The tacky in one of the spare rooms. And I'm like, why is there a pair of Yeezys firstly in this house? And my dad said it's his pair of Yeezys. Now, Yeezys, for those of you for those of you who don't know, is like Kanye West's tacky. It costs like three and a half, four thousand Rand. Um and I personally felt that there's absolutely no reason why someone of my father's let's call it experience, should own a pair of Yeezys. I couldn't understand it. So I did the only thing a responsible son would have done, and I claimed them. These are now my Yeezys. And personally, I don't think I did anything wrong. I think, like, for me, I think it's like in the Geneva Convention that if you're over a certain age, you can't own a pair of tackies worth like three and a half, four thousand rand, and you certainly can't own Yeezys. So you tell me, was I, I don't think I was wrong. I think I was fair and did the right thing. These Yeezys are ugly, but they are freaking comfortable. Okay, guys, so with that out of the way, we've got to open some packages. I have some questions to answer. I've got to talk to you about OLED sale. So OLED is having a sale. Um, they featured in their Balder S. This is the weapon mounted light laser combination. And you can get like 40% to 30% off and 40% off their bundles. I literally just found out about that like an hour before filming this video. So it's live now until like the 17th. So go and check it out. I'll leave a link down below if you want to get in on that. Patrons, I have some exciting Patreon news. If you are a patron, and I just confirmed this with the guys from Bravo Tactical Africa, and I'll speak to other guys as well, as a bonus benefit for anyone who is a patron on the channel, I'm going to sponsor a membership to training courses throughout the year next year. So if, for example, Bravo Tactical Africa is having a course, they're going to reserve one slot for me, and I'll find out where the course is and which one of my patrons are in that area. And if there's multiples, it'll be like a giveaway, like a draw type thing. And I'm going to sponsor one spot for as many courses as I can for patrons throughout there. If you want to become a patron, it's the first link in the video description below and the first comment if you're watching on Facebook or Instagram. Also, patrons, just remember, I think Ruan Boota is one of my patrons. I won't be up getting his surname correctly. Gave the great idea, the December giveaway, the person who wins it, is going to get to choose between this knife and this flashlight. So I was giving them a both. I'm, I was, I'm going to give them both away anyway. And then Ruan was like, "Why don't you just let the the winner choose?" And and then in January, I'm probably going to give away a gunslinger pack from Southwest Holsters. So it's a good time to be a patron. The, the giveaways are just going to get better and better and better as we go um, and as the patronage grows. Yeah. The O knife metal. Not bad. So it's got a normal opening mechanism, but it's got a button you press to close it. Metal. Metal. Not metal, it's metal. Guys, I believe this is also on sale. So if you do want to get yourself a nice, sleek O knife, you can absolutely do so. Like I said, the link is down below. Let's take a question. Hi Ryan, taking a chance. You strike me as someone with similar interests. Any good movies out lately? From Charles. Charles, any good movies out? That's such a difficult question. Um, if we are, you know what I watched recently that I really enjoyed? Uh, check it out on Netflix, All Quiet on the Western Front. I really enjoyed that movie. That movie really changed the way war movies should be made, in my opinion, in that, like, a lot of war movies, you you watch it and you're like, wow, that was cool. All Quiet in the Western Front, I watched it and I was like, man, that was not cool. Ace Beam Defender. This is from my good buddy Travis at Mavs Gear, who is also a patron. Travis, I really appreciate you. Guys, these are the lists of patrons who are currently um, patrons. And I really appreciate you guys for, for your support and making this channel happen. And like I said, I'm going to give you guys amazing giveaways. This is actually smaller than I thought it was going to be. That's not bad at all. 
The Ace Beam Defender obviously still has the battery prote protector in, but it's all it's got a a normal pressure switch as well as a um, immediate strobe, which I'm keen to test out. I have not found a flashlight that makes this work as I would like it to work just yet. So hopefully the Ace Beam Defender is going to be that flashlight. Travis from Mavs Gear, thank you very much. If you want to check out anything from Travis, give him a shout. He has a whole host of Ace Beam mechanics. Um, Wiley X Gear is a really, really good guy. Does really, really good things and gets you really, really good prices. So give him a shout if you want that kind of gear. Thank you for the Ace Beam Defender. And you'll definitely be seeing it on the channel. By the way, this is a tactical flashlight. Eh? So Travis, you know what that means. Yo man, thank you for all the hard work. Why don't you sell more gear on your website which would much rather support you from Alta? So guys, thank you for all the hard work is Afrikaans for thank you for all the hard work. Thank you, Altus. I'm very fussy about gear I sell on my website. I do get offered the opportunity to sell lots more gear on my website. But if I haven't personally tested it, if I don't personally own it, if I haven't personally gotten my hands on it and seen the quality of it and it doesn't go on my website, I could have a website with like stock full, full of shit. Right? Well, not shit, but I mean so much stuff because obviously a lot of people go to my website and this channel gets a lot of traffic from people in the EDC community in South Africa. But I'm very fussy about what goes on my website because I feel like invariably if you sell something on your website, it's your name attached to it. So when I sell something, it's got to be something that is is I, I personally know is of the highest standard um, or the highest standard attainable. And then I, I'm also very fussy about prices. Like I, I don't like... I don't like making things too expensive. So a lot of things on my website, like there'd be like a standard selling price that is quite a bit more than what it actually cost. And then it's really expensive. And I, I'm not a big fan of that. For example, I know they're out of stock right now, but my global phalanx um, plate carriers, my Aspis plate carriers with plates, I, d I don't make a single, I don't make one cent on that. I sell it exactly at the price I get it for. Um, because I just believe everybody should have that kind of gear and it's already expensive. So... It's not, I'm not serving the community by making a, mo a profit on something that's already expensive that I believe everyone should have. So, yes, I do try to make a profit where I can. You can't live in this world without it. But um, that isn't the be-all and end-all on my website. And the reason I don't have a lot of things on my website is because if I don't have first-hand experience with it, I generally don't put it on my site. Talking about website, guys, the Global Phalanx Tac TQ tourniquet is on my website. It's 500 bucks and... For what it is, I don't think you're going to find a better tourniquet for that price. Aluminium windlass, reinforced C-clip, uh, metal buckle, really, really good tourniquet designed by um, Gary Griffin, South African. He's always, I think he's in South Sudan at the moment, combat medic, so the guy knows what he's talking about, very passionate about that kind of thing. So go and check that out. I am also going to be, I decided, and I forgot to mention this early on, um, in this month's giveaway, I'm also going to give away one of these tourniquets. To my patrons and then whenever i give away anything medical i'm going to add a tourniquet to that prize as well so if you win the urban warrior edc ready pack i'm gonna chuck a tourniquet in there for you as well that's very nice thank you very much olight for my um 2023 friendship gift a what looks like a copper olight i3t very nice i really really appreciate that guys I think that's it. Let's do the pocket dump and then we can end off. Okay, I don't know how much you can see um, in my left rear pocket. Leatherman Skeletool as always. Sorry about the sound changing. In my left pocket, Cloud Defensive MCH with Theorem Switchback. Belt is always co-essential. Firearm Glock 19, Hollow Sun, Red Dot, Streamlight, TLR1, HL, Rushby Industries Plus. 3 base plate um, and TR1 trigger upgrade in a something different in a Shinobi Kydex Katana 2.0 I'm testing the light and the solster and I must be honest at present I'm very very pleased so that's very cool and the knife the knife I've been using using to open these gifts is the Olight metal O knife metal as well as my Benchmade Griptilian with Snaggle Tooth. Guys, quick video. Thank you for taking time to check it out. If you want to become a patron, you want to be in on all those gifts, check out the link below.
Um, it's gonna Patreon's gonna be a massive thing for me going forward. That is it, guys. Have a good week. Be safe. Train out. I'll see you on Saturday for a backpack review. Cheers. God bless.